Hello everyone, I welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you a product review of Electric Curd Maker. And the Electric Curd Maker is from the brand Agaro. Curd is an important and essential part of our Indian food system. And I personally believe that one must eat curd daily as it has a plethora of benefits. Eat the calcium content, protein content, good bacteria which it contains which is very good for our digestive system and the vitamin B12 component also and there are times when the curd is not set properly especially in winters during monsoons or during peak summers the curd gets sour so one solution I find online was the electric curd maker and I was very excited to buy the product and I am equally excited to share the actual review with you people whether it is worth investing in an electric curd maker or it will also be like one of the product which we just store in our cupboard so stay tuned till the end of the video for finding the answer I will give you a true review Let's get started with the review and with this what we are going to do we are going to first see how does the agarro curd maker looks like this is a cute machine which can be kept on your countertop it is not going to take much of your space a beautiful combination of white and gray and there is an led indicator which indicates that the power is on one more thing i would like to say is that firstly we are going to see what is actually inside the machine so inside the machine there is an heating element and this is the cover once we remove the cover we get a stainless steel pot which is also there with the curd maker it can be easily removed and on the bottom of this there is a heating element and this stainless steel pot has a capacity of 1.2 liter but one thing I would like to share here is that the actual capacity is not 1.2 liter, 800 ml milk fits very well into that. And now I am going to tell you how the curd is actually set in this. So what happens is that because of the heating element, there is a constant temperature which is maintained over time. And because of the maintenance of this constant temperature, the fermentation takes place very well. There is a good bacterial growth in the milk because of which the curd sets very well. So with constant temperature being maintained, the fermentation process takes place good. I'll give you a demo of this curd maker. I am going to set the curd in front of you and there will be one tip also which will help you set the curd in a more better way. So what I am going to do, I am going to take this milk, a spoonful of curd and I am going to take this inner steel pot out and I am going to pour my milk. As I already said, the capacity of steel pot is 1.2 litre. But it is better to leave one fourth space for fermentation. Now milk, milk you can take any milk. You can take fresh cow milk. Like I am taking A2 fresh cow milk. You can take buffalo milk. Or you can also take that packet pala dhoot. From last 3 years, I have switched from packet wala dood to fresh cow milk. And if you want to know the actual reason for it, you may watch one of my videos which talk about packaged milk versus fresh milk. I'll put the link in the description box. You may watch it from there. But for now, you can take any type of milk. I have removed the malai. Mix it very well so that the curd and the milk get mixed very well. And now this is all what we need to do. We need to just keep the steel pot into the curd maker again and plug it on. And after 7 to 8 hours, the curd will be made. This is the LED indicator which is there indicating that the power is on. One more thing, there is no auto cutoff in this. So after 7 to 8 hours, you need to manually open it and check whether the curd is set or not. And then you need to switch it off if the curd is set and if it is not set, then you need to switch it on only. I got this curd maker for Rs. 645 from Amazon and believe me, it is worth investing Rs. 645. You are not going to buy curd from market. And the water you are seeing on the top, don't discard it. Just mix it with the whisk and enjoy this thick, rich, creamy curd in your raitas, in your salad dressings, along with your paratha. Thank you. 
so this was all about the curd maker and my true review do let me know in the comment section what all products you want me to review do hit the like button share the video with your family and friends who are searching for a convenient method of setting the curd at home i will see you all in my next video till then stay healthy and blessed bye bye